Hi scholars, so today we're completing module 3, lesson 11. Thoughtful mathematicians interpret the unknown to model and solve problems. Remember, we can use variables to represent the unknown, right? So a variable is just a letter. For example, 28 divided by C equals 4. C represents 7 in this problem because it's unknown until we solve and we can solve for C and realize that C equals 7. So I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how you can write an equation with a variable to represent a problem, and we're also going to practice solving two-step word problems. Jenny bakes 10 cookies. She puts seven chocolate chip chips on each cookie. Seven chocolate chips on each cookie. Draw a tape diagram and label the total amount of chocolate chips as C, that's our variable. Write an equation and solve for C. So let me start with my tape diagram. I know she has 10 cookies, so that's my groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, okay. I don't know the total amount of chocolate chips. Remember, they said to use C to represent the chocolate chips, but I do know that each cookie has seven chocolate chips on it. So that's 10 groups of seven, and 10 groups of seven is the same thing as 10 times seven. My 10 cookies with seven chocolate chips on each gives me all the chocolate chips. So that's why this equation matches this problem. 10 cookies with seven chocolate chips gives me all the chocolate chips that she used all together. So let's solve. Well, 10 times seven, that's easy. I know that's 70 chocolate chips. I know that for two reasons. One, because my tens facts are easy. I'm just skip counting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. If I skip count seven, seven times, I get 70. Also, I know the trick that when I'm multiplying by 10, the factor that I multiply by, I just add a zero to the end of it. If I add a zero to seven, it becomes 70. So my answer is 70 chocolate chips. Got to ask the chips. So go ahead and try this one. We're going to read together, and then you'll try on your own. Mr. Lopez arranges 48 dry erase markers into eight equal groups for his math equations. Draw a tape diagram and label the number of dry erase markers in each group as V. Write an equation and solve for V. So go ahead and draw your tape diagram and solve for V using your equation. And then press play once you're ready to check your work. So again, pause now, press play when you're ready. All right, so again, we always start with our tape diagram. In this case, I do know the total. There's 48 markers. I also know that there's eight groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know how many markers go in each group, so that's going to be V. But I'm taking 48 markers and placing them into eight equal groups. So what operation is that? division. I'm dividing the markers into eight equal groups. And that'll help me figure out the number of markers, V, V, number of markers that go in each group. So 48 divided by 8. I can use my tape diagram. I'm going to place a marker in each group until I use up all 48 markers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So I see there are six markers in each group. So my answer is six markers in each group. V equals 6. What about if you don't have a variable and you need to solve for a two-step problem? How would you do that? So let me show you how to do that. Leo earns $8 each week for doing chores. After seven weeks, he buys a gift and has $38 left. How much money does he spend on the gift? So for eight weeks, for seven weeks, he's earning $8 every week. So first week, seven, second week, 14, and so on. And he ends up spending some of that money that he earns. And after he spends it, he has $38 left. 
So, you know, I need to know how much she actually had in order to figure out how much he spent. Because I know how much he had left over, but I don't know what he was started with. So let's use these numbers, the $8 a week for seven weeks, to figure out how much money he actually got from his chores. So I know there are seven weeks. And I know each week he gets $8. So how much would that be all together? Oh, eight, eight, eight. I'm going to skip number eight. Eight. 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. So that means he earned $56. So now that I know how much he earned, what can I do to figure out how much he spent? Because I know he had $38 left. So he had $56. He spent some, right, so he's going to take away some money, and he's left with $38. You know what? I can subtract how much he's left to see what he spent. Let me go ahead and do that. So we're going to regroup 10 to make that 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. 4 minus 3 is 1. I get 18. So when I add 18 and 38, I should get 56. Let me check. By adding inverse operation, 8 plus 8 is 16, we group to 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 3 is 5, 56 bits, so I know I'm right. So that means he spent $18. So in order to figure this out, I wasn't told how much money he made, but I did get information that would help me figure out how much money he made. So I first multiply 8 times 7 to figure out how much money he actually earned in his chores, and then subtracted what was left over to figure out how much the gift cost. Because I kind of kind of like a part, part whole situation. I knew the total that he started with. I knew what was left over. So I could use this part from the whole to figure out the missing part. So let's look at this other one that you're going to solve now. There are eight trail mix bags in one box. Clarissa buys five boxes. She gives an equal number of bags of trail mix to four friends. How many bags of trail mix does each friend receive? So go ahead and solve this problem and then press play when you're ready to check your work. So pause now, solve this problem, then press play when you're ready. All right, so I know that she bought five boxes. I also know that each box has eight bags of trail mix. So how many bags of trail mix is that? Well, eight times five is 40, because five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. If I count by fives, eight times, I guess I'm 40. So there's 40 bags of trail mix, and then it says she gives an equal number to four friends. So her 40 bags, she splits them or divides them between four friends. So 40 divided by 4. Well, I know 10 times 4 is 40, so 40 divided by 4 must be 10. It's 10, 20, 30, 40. That's real easy. So the opposite must be true, my inverse operation. So I can use related facts to help me figure out this problem. Because I know what 4 times 10 is, so that means 40 divided by 4 should give me 10 as well. So each friend gets... 10 bags of trail mix. So for this problem, I still need to find the total first. I need to know how many bags there are all together before I can split them between the four friends. Similar to this other one, I need to figure out how much money he made before I could figure out how much he spent. So in today's problem set, you'll have problems like this where you have to do use two steps to solve called two-step word problems. And there'll be other ones where you'll have to write an equation or match the equation with the problem or possibly solve for the variable, meaning the unknown, which is really just solving for the answer. All right? As always, you can reach out to me on Schoology if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching. You can also reach me on Google Hangouts.